Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I want to talk about this painting. I painted it in Art Studio Pro and it's all about big wide spaces with nothing in it. So let's get into it. This painting's in Art Studio Pro. I've got a canvas size of 6,000 by 4,500 pixels, 300 DPI. So it's a good size. I'm using Art Studio Pro because I'm loving this reference image. So I'm just looking for the image that I'm going to load in. It's in my uh, photo gallery. And this is a picture I took a few days ago. A really cold, frosty morning. And... Um, I'm going to use one particular brush for this and it's called the Noisy Bristle Brush and I'm using the wet paint settings and you can see here I'm also setting the smudge brush and the eraser to the same brush so I'm going to use that one brush for um, all of the three tools that I need for this the paint brush, the eraser and the um, smudge tool and the reason I've decided to do this painting um I, I went for a walk I'm now living in this little village for countryside everywhere I got up early I was pretty desperate to get some source material um it was a cold frosty morning it was the first frost of the year uh, but the sun was out and it was casting these really long shadows. It was quite early in the morning, but there was no clouds in the sky. The sky was just, just clear. And you can see in this photo, I've sort of exposed it for the trees. So the sky is all burnt out. And the reason I'm doing this photo, uh, sorry, the reason I'm doing this painting I thought it would be a good idea to show you that you do not have to fill every inch of your canvas with detail. You, It's all right to have empty space. So uh, when I'm talking about detail, I, you know, I don't put detail in pictures much anyway. It's always leaning towards the um, impressionist side of things rather than detail but so what i'm talking about here is just actual big blank areas of space with nothing in it at all except a little color so the sky that i've put in uh, we've got the light source coming from the right so we've got this warmer color over at the right hand side of the uh, canvas and then to the left we've got this uh, blue but they are very pale colors because I wanted to give the impression that it was a misty cold morning it's still not winter yet it's it's only autumn so we've still got lots of leaves on the trees and there's, some of them are still quite green they're not all turned to brown but there was this lovely crisp frost and that was the effect I was trying to get so I just overlaid a few colors selecting off the HSL color sliders and I sort of put a blue in and a, a pink and uh, a warm yellow and just overlaid those colors and I kept this uh, noisy bristle brush really big for that and what I discovered as I was using the brush was that um, the more paint you put on and the the bigger the size of the brush it starts to, if you just put a very light pressure on it it really does sort of blend those colors together but if you press on hard you get a much more bristly effect like you've got this sort of hard bristles that are scratching the surface so a very sophisticated brush really that allows you to do uh, lots of different effects so uh, another brush that's well worth giving a go i recommend you uh, try it out the noisy bristle brush um i put in these distant trees and you can see i'm using real uh soft pastel colors and it almost looks like a pastel actually and i've got some lime greens in there and purples and blues but i begin with i actually put on sort of all of the uh, a soft blue first and i went in and put some uh 
lime green colors in and then some purple so i built the, the colors up layer on layer but all on one layer i didn't um create a second layer this painting by the way is all produced on one layer no uh multiple layers going off here it's just uh, just the one so i'm not um using it to create extra shadows and things like that this is i do think this is a very painterly looking picture and it might be one that i do on my new channel where i'm uh so I'm shameless plug here where i'm doing traditional painting if you haven't checked it out yet get along there and have a look because i'm sort of reproducing my favorite paintings that i've done digitally uh with traditional paint so uh, i've done a couple so far uh so uh, if you're not had a look just pop along there and um don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you get informed of uh whenever i release new videos and all of that stuff and, and like it and share it and uh you know just help me sort of um launch the channel really and do the same for this video as well please uh don't forget to ding that um uh, ding the bell tick the bell so you are informed of uh, all the videos that i'm making because i'm doing lot i'm up in the game i'm doing lots of digital work um doing lots of these testing out different brushes and if you want to see all of them uh, just uh, click the the bell and subscribe so you don't miss anything anyway back to this painting um i'm now putting in the this sort of light green in the trees same brush again just adjusted the size down to about three quarters and you can see i'm using my finger there to select the color off of the sky just to cut into that tree a little bit uh i i thanks for all the input about putting the um the the video at the side of the painting where you can actually see my hand uh, everybody i think said i got a lot of responses to that video and everybody was saying uh please put the uh keep that in uh, as a, a feature you like it so i'm going to do that i can't do it in every video though because sometimes i'm sat on the uh, my uh, couch um chilling out on a sunday afternoon and i think oh just do a drawing and I pick the iPad up and um, I'll produce something. So unfortunately, it's a bit too much hassle to get in a video camera and sort of setting it up so you can see me. And so those videos, uh, I won't be able to do that. But whenever I'm painting in the studio, uh, I will put this um, thumbnail video in the side. What I've actually done, I've uh, made it a little bit bigger and tilted it s slightly so um it's in line with the painting i thought that was sort of a better format so i hope you like that um and i was going to do this painting last night i'd got the idea to do it and i was going to i was uh, sort of sat in on the sofa settee thinking should i do it and i thought no i'm going to wait and do it because i wanted to put the uh bit in where you could see the end so anyway getting back to the painting i'm just putting I've just added some detail in the foreground. I'm working on that. I'm building it up the same way as the trees. I put the dark color on first, just sort of um, rough them in, and then started adding the lighter colors and the highlights on those sort of tufts of grass. And we're getting blues going in there and purples. Because although it is a very soft painting, um, I felt that there was still lots of opportunity to put lots of colour in there. So you'll see uh, I'm putting purples in now. Then a bit later on, I'm going to go into it with some blues and some yellows. So a real sort of building up of colour, but very soft colours, grayed off colours, not in your face bright colours really. But they all add to the effect where I'm still getting plenty of colour in the painting, but it feels cold and um, gentle. It's not in your face. You 
This is where I discovered that if you just touch the brush very lightly, it you get this blending effect and you can see how the tree is sort of blending those colors together there, which I really liked. I thought uh, that was very, very cool. Um, so it took me a while. I was well into the painting before I discovered that. Working on the um, the ground. I'm just sort of putting in a light colour. I wanted to make it to get these sort of ridges of light in the foreground or the middle ground, I should say, just in front of those trees. So I've sort of just lightened up the colour of that a little bit. And then still, then I, I, I felt I, I wanted some warmer colours in there as well. So I go in with this sort of uh, orangey brown, a bit like burnt sienna, I suppose. It is a bit over the top at that point, so I will um, soften it off a little bit. And, I, and then I found out that I could get this sort of blending effect with the sky where you're almost uh, using a dry brush to blend the colors. Uh, so you can see on the tree on the right, it's sort of smudging into the sky. I didn't use a smudge brush for that. I used the actual paintbrush and just putting it on very lightly, just very light pressure. I got that really soft effect, which I uh, liked a lot. So I'm just experimenting with color, putting a little bit of blue into the ground. We're going to get some yellow in there as well. You notice I used my finger to choose the color off the canvas. Putting some deeper tones into that tree, just to soften off that um, brown a little bit. Then I had a little bit of an experiment of trying to put some highlights in the tree um, where the, you, the branches were thinner and you could see the sky. I created a new layer for that. I didn't like it, so I deleted the layer and then started working on the um, just the one layer, cutting in these lighter tones, which, again, I wasn't a massive fan of. I left a few in, but uh, not so much. Then I went in with a very soft pale green just to try and put a few more even brighter highlights. Not strong colour, but just sort of lighter colour, really. Lighter in tone. Spending a lot of time on the tree. Just sort of put, it looks like I'm um, putting marks here, there and everywhere quite willy-nilly. And the actual fact, I'm really thinking about what I'm doing. I think go in with this blue colour. Oh, and then I used the eraser, uh, a bit heavy there. So I sort of undid it and uh, knocked back the opacity a little bit. Just to lift out some highlights where the frost was really white on the ground. Get it signed, and there we go. My uh, misty, cold, well, actually, cold, crisp, frosty morning painted with the noisy bristle brush in Art Studio Pro. If you've liked this video, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, sharing, and uh, ticking that bell to get notifications of all my new videos. And don't forget, Check out the um, other channel where I'm doing lots of painting with traditional media. Hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, so bye.